So for this week's art technique, we are gonna stay with ancient Mesopotamia and we are going to explore the process of working in cuneiform. So cuneiform was the first known writing system um, and it was created on like a clay tablet um, and there were these little like um, etching sticks that were used to create um, different shapes of lines. And so it's a great way to experiment with kids no matter what their age for creating shapes using you know straight edges in some sort of modeling clay. So you can use like traditional clay, you know, get some really great clay from the art store or you can just use the Play-Doh you can have in your house if you have modeling clay that you have or you wanna make some homemade Play-Doh, you can really experiment. But the fun thing with this is that you can find different edges and experiment with the shapes that they make in the clay. So, you know, which ones cut really smoothly and make a really nice clean line. See, it kind of tears, doesn't um, it? Which shapes, you know, seem like they would work really well, but then, you know, end up making not the quite the size that you want. So you can really experiment. Um, when Bjorn and I were doing this, we found <laughs> a chiseling tool from like a dinosaur excavation kit ended up being our favorite tool. You got it. So we do this like this down here. Ready? Down here. You can do those, yeah. Or we can do the lines that come down like that. You want to do it? Here? Yeah. Where? Here? So we do it from the bottom of that triangle and the bottom of that triangle. There you go. Yeah, look at that, amazing. We tried a lot of different things, so really experiment, see what you can do. So what I'm gonna drop below is a link to more of like the really in-depth, like what is cuneiform if you're like interested in that. But then there's also this great tool where you can like write in your name and your initials uh, and it'll translate it into cuneiform for you. So like highly recommend that if you're working with your kiddos because then you can give them something to copy. So of course you can just work with the shapes and making you know English letters or Mandarin symbols or whatever you want to experiment with um, using that tool technique, but you can also like translate your name into Qform and then like practice that. So um, it's a really fun experiment. I hope you have fun. Let me know what you think. Send me pictures or drop a comment to let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, it's such a treat to be a part of your life. Hope you're having a great day.